Good morning, guys. It's Laurie from PassionatePennyPincher.com, and I am so excited. It is day 13 of Croctober, where every single day for the entire month of October, during the week, we are making a slow cooker recipe. And I have a special, super exciting thing to tell you guys about today. If you love this t-shirt, I have something really, really fun. I think you're gonna love it. As you're hoping on, say good morning. I would love, love, love for you to tell me what you've made for dinner. I have loved seeing you guys make dinner on the page. Seeing your all's pictures are the best thing ever. But I wanna tell you right now, if you guys love this t-shirt, tell me if you love the t-shirt or not. We talked to the company who made the t-shirt. I said, we love this t-shirt because you do anything for our readers. And I am so excited with the code PPP30. You're gonna save 30% today on these super cute t-shirts. I will be wearing mine all Thanksgiving long because, well, all fall long. Do y'all love this one? Um, I'm wearing a medium if you're curious and I'm wearing the one in brown. I think it's a Heather Brown. Um, they just restocked this morning and they have tons of them available. So if you love this t-shirt, 30% off, use the code PPP30. It's a really cute, cozy t-shirt. I'm wearing, I typically wear a size six, eight on top and this is a medium and it fits right. I probably wouldn't go to a small unless you want it pretty snug. So fit a little bit on the big size. I love it. Y'all click the link in the video if you would like that. And who is ready to make some dinner? Okay, so today we are making, I'm so excited about this one. This is one of the easiest recipes on the face of the planet. Have any of you made slow cooker chicken alfredo? When we had our kids, one of our babies, our neighbor brought this over to us and it was so simple. It was one of those recipes you could make so easily that um, literally it takes like no time at all. Uh, Jen, you just said you submitted your email and did not get the recipes. Send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com if you haven't gotten the recipes yet and I will send them out to you. Okay, so here we go. So this recipe, y'all, is so simple. You're gonna love this and like I said, if you want the t-shirt, I'll stick this code here. Also, guys, if you'll hit that share this button, if you hit the share this button, we will give away a $10 Amazon gift card to one lucky person who hits the share this button. So you have to hit the share this button to be able to grab it. Y'all, it is really hard to show everything I need to show you guys right now. Okay, there we go. There's the code for the t-shirt if you're interested. I'll put it right there, hopefully you can see it. Okay, so this dinner in the crock pot is the easiest Ever. but I'm gonna show you how to make it a little healthier too. So all you need, this is a slow cooker creamy chicken alfredo. All you need are some boneless skinless chicken breasts. So we're gonna use these up. Um, I'm using frozen just because that's what I have. Frozen is fine, it is not a big deal at all to use the frozen. Um, I think that's me plenty. My kids went through so much chicken the other night with chicken and dumplings, and I went through a lot of chicken, so I wanna make sure there's plenty, but I think that'll be fine. Um, then you're gonna add in, you have two choices. You can add in a can of cream and chicken soup and a packet of Italian dressing. But because I wanna be slightly healthier, I am not gonna actually put these in. I'm gonna make these from scratch. So in the cookbook, if you could get the cookbook, we'll put a link for the cookbook in the video. In the cookbook, in the very back, I have a few trick recipes. And one of them is for homemade Italian seasoning mix. So I'm gonna show you how to make that really fast. It's so simple. All you need to make that is, hang on, I gotta find my notes here because I don't remember all of this off the top of my head. All you need to make that is one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, a tablespoon of sugar, which is what I already have in here, so this is just a homemade seasoning packet, so simple. Then you're gonna add in two tablespoons of Italian seasoning mix. Now you could even make your own Italian seasoning mix. I do just buy this pre-made because it's easy and it's cheap. I usually get the brand, um, Kroger sells this for a dollar, so you can't beat that one. It is such a good little deal, awesome little deal on that. Okay, one and two tablespoons, or two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, two tablespoons salt, and again, you could totally just throw in a pouch of Italian seasoning mix. I just prefer to make it at home um, because it's cheaper too. And then a little bit of onion powder, which is right over here. A tablespoon of onion powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw this in. This is my homemade Italian seasoning. If you're wanting to be fast though, guys, 
Just get the pouch at the store. I just am making it from scratch so that I have I know what's going into it. So this is super easy. But the recipes at the back of the Crocktober cookbook, which you can print for free, definitely check that out. Oh guys, I see so many folks are on. If you're new here, would you say good morning? And I want to tell you that this t-shirt that I'm wearing, which I absolutely love, is on sale today for 30% off with the code PPP30. They made it on sale just for us today, which I was super excited about. I am so glad to see you guys this morning. Okay, we are making. If you just hopped on, we're making creamy chicken Alfredo. All you need really truly is just some chicken, Italian seasoning mix, and a can of cream of chicken soup. But I'm making it from scratch, so I'm gonna show you how I make my homemade cream of chicken soup. Homemade cream of chicken soup, you can see the recipe is in the cookbook. I printed it out and I've got it right here, but it's in the cookbook. Um, all you need for it is non-fat dry milk, cornstarch, instant chicken bouillon, onion powder, basil, and pepper. Now I've already mixed mine together and I keep mine in a handy little bag. So instead of using the cream of chicken soup, because I know a lot of us don't love to eat that all the time, I just do that. I go ahead and I mix it up and then when we're ready for a recipe, you mix together a third a cup of your mix along with one and a quarter cups of water. So I'm just gonna mix this together. And there I've got, so instead of using cream of chicken soup, I made it a little bit healthier. It's probably still not perfectly healthy because you still have some chicken bouillon in there, but it's not bad. It's gonna be fine. Um, it's better than eating at McDonald's. Anybody else give me a harder like? If you, lots of people say, oh, I don't wanna make all the processed food. You know what, if you decide not to make dinner and you go through the drive-through, you're eating so much worse. So this is a great way to make a healthier meal at home. And then we are also gonna add in a quarter cup of water and we're gonna cook this on low all day long. So this just cooks all day long on low, super easy. But then, hang on, can you see that? I feel like you can't see that. Then at the end of the day, what you're gonna do is 30 minutes before you're ready to eat, you're gonna put in this pouch of cream cheese. You're gonna give it all a good stir. You're gonna shred up your chicken. You can use a blender or a hand mixer to shred up your chicken. Throw this in, let that all cook for another 30 minutes. It is the yummiest, easiest chicken Alfredo you have ever made. I'm gonna serve ours over some penny pasta. Super simple, super easy. One of my family's favorite meals. It's like fettuccine Alfredo in the crock pot. I mean, it's really, really, really yummy. So guys, if you have not gotten this one, definitely recommend it. Um, remember, if you have not gotten the cookbook already, there should be a comment there in the comments somewhere to get the free cookbook. It's totally free. You can also go to the Passionate Penny Pincher store on the page and you can actually order this one, which is the bound one, which I love, honestly. Um, this is the one I'm using myself. And it's got all the recipes, including all the dessert recipes and all of those little special hacks. So simple, super simple. Um, and then I just wanna tell you guys, for anybody who hopped on, we had so many people email me asking for this t-shirt, guys. Oh, it would be yummy over rice or quinoa. I wanna tell you that today only, you can use the code PPP30 to snag this t-shirt for 30% off, which is pretty and fantastic. It makes it like $18 for the long sleeve. It is the softest, most cozy shirt. Y'all, I absolutely love this one. Oh, I'm so glad you're gonna try it. Have you ever cooked pasta in the crock pot? I have not cooked the pasta in the crock pot, Laura. I don't know if that would work. Um, it's, it's pretty, it's, I mean, would it work? Has anybody ever cooked pasta in the crock pot? I don't know. Um, to get the free cookbook, oh, Dana, I'm so glad you caught us live. To get the free cookbook, look and see. There should be a link in there for the Crocktober cookbook, so look for that. If not, send me an email at contact at passionatepennypincher.com, and we will get it to you. Um, when you use frozen chicken, it turns out soggy. Really, Jennifer? That's interesting. How does it fit? Okay, the shirt fits pretty, I would say pretty true to size. This is a medium. I typically wear a smaller medium. Um, I think this one fits me really well. I just wish you could feel it. It's so soft and cozy. I mean, it's just one of those shirts that you put on and you're like, you know how, that's why when I got the shirt, I love trying different companies because I wanna tell you guys what really are great brands. Sometimes I get t-shirts and I'm like, oh, it doesn't feel good. This one just feels good. I do have it tucked in, so it's longer. I guess I should show it to you there. There's the length. Um, this is a medium. I feel like I needed the medium. I don't think I would wear this one in a small, for sure. This is definitely better in a medium. Yes, the recipes are so good. Um, how can you buy the other one? Did you see my comment? Jessica, I may not have. You need at least a cup of water for the dry pasta. You, if Megan, if you click the link in the video, you can order the t-shirt. And like I said, use the code PPP30. It's gonna get stuck in my crock pot. 
use the code PPV30. Um, they are giving us this code. Like I said, so many people asked about this shirt that I wanted to send it out to you. Jennifer, you ordered yours. I'm so glad. Dinner at church tonight. So you have dinner off from cooking. I love that. Guys, I will also send this out via email to anybody who subscribed to the free Croctober cookbook. Um, if you don't have the cookbook, if you're having problems getting the cookbook this morning, send me an email, contact at passionatepennypincher.com and we will send that. Um, it looks better untucked. You like to unpacked? Yeah, I struggle with how to wear these shirts. There we go. I think because I'm hippie, so I'm always like, how do I? I feel like it has a lot to go around. You ordered your cookbook from Amazon. I love that. Error in the link code for the shirt. Hopefully, try it, all caps, PPP30. It worked for me this morning, I tested it, so it should work. Oh, Jessica, I am so sorry, your son broke his arm. We are praying for your son. I hope that he feels much better and is up and running around very soon. That is not fun to have kiddos that get there, get sick, that is so hard. Um, you've got your chicken alfredo started. I'm so glad. Guys, don't forget, hit the share this button and let somebody know that they can join us. Use the, um, and we, we will enter you to win a $10 Amazon gift card. Also. Please, my favorite part of the day is when I see the pictures that you all are posting on the Passionate Penny Pincher wall of your family eating dinner. I have seen, I've seen pictures of your kids. I've seen pictures of your crock pots. I've seen pictures of you guys. Please, please, please post a picture to the wall and let me know you're joining me for Crocktober so that I know I'm not the craziest woman on the planet sitting here on Facebook Live every morning doing Crocktober. Please, please, please put that on there and um, you guys, you're gonna love um, Crocktober. It will make your family so happy to have dinner done. I can't even wait. The monkey bread last night was amazing. Um, we'll put a link, there should be a link in the, oh, Gladys, you said the buffalo chicken sliders were awesome. I am so glad. Pat, if you wanna find the spiral bound version on the Facebook page, there's a little place that says shop. Click that shop place and you can order that right away. You're so sweet, Donna. I appreciate you a ton. Oh my gosh, Amanda, did you have the chicken and dumplings? They're pretty fantastic. You guys have an amazing day and I will be back tomorrow morning. What are we making tomorrow? Oh, I'm so excited. Tomorrow we're making one of my favorites, slow cooker cheeseburger soup. This is super healthy. It's like a Weight Watchers recipe, but it tastes like you're eating a burger. Like, it's like you just ate a burger in a soup. It's fantastic. So check it out. You guys have an, more, an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow morning. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.